We've heard really strong rhetoric from politicians, but not actually really strong commitments to making the changes that we actually need to see. I know, I have to go home and work at the community level. I think that's a place where we still have influence and where we can actually still stop these projects, like the fracking that's happening. Do people on the ground have a right to determine their own quality of life, their own air quality, their own water quality? Do we have that right? That's what it's become a fight for. People feel good about embracing a direct action strategy. I have more of a responsibility to do what's right than to comply with this unjust law. It's a tactic that I feel like is appropriate to utilize and you're living in a situation of unjust laws. I don't want fracking in my backyard, but I don't want it in anybody's backyard. I am motivated to fight fracking because of climate change. So what are we going to do? I have been an activist for 50 years, I'm 70, and I do what I do because it's the right thing to do. We're here to say enough is enough. If you don't start setting up now, who knows where we're going to be at in 10 years. What, what kind of future are we going to leave behind for, you know, for our kids and our, our grandkids and, and their grandkids? It's my responsibility to do what I can to stand in solidarity with indigenous people who are under assault. I'm still stuck between this like, wow, look at everything we've just accomplished, and we're being thrown very quickly into the next phase of this whole fight. This is our home, and you, you don't just abandon it, you know? So, I'll keep going. I knew I was never gonna be the same after that. Like, I knew after that day, my life was gonna be changed. This story should appeal to everybody's humanity. It, it touched me and, it, and it's motivated me from here on outward to do something about it. The most effective way to organize our community is to build people power. How are we actually going to determine what we want for ourselves? How are we building power within our own community? So that's what I'm passionate about. Now, building community, we can learn about building community from looking at communities like this. I think music is essential to any movement. And then what about harmonies, you know? When everybody's using their own individual base of talent to contribute to a whole beautiful thing, um, that's a beautiful metaphor. So music is wonderful in that sense.